Yeah, I forgot to do an intro to this video. Uh, luckily I caught it the same day, just a few hours later. I've been cleaning, I had dinner, like the lip is off. I will throw up, however, how this look turned out. In today's video, I'm trying out just a bunch of new to me products and some old items that, you know, are revisits. For example, the Dream Matte Mousse, buckle up for that. I'm trying out the new tinted moisturizer from Rare Beauty, the new blush from Huda Beauty, some e.l.f. brow products, a new to me cream eyeshadow that is gorgeous. I will leave everything linked down below and I hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's jump in. So let's jump in to a bunch of new products, at least new to me products. The first is the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. I don't have a ton of redness today, but I definitely am prone to redness, especially in this area. So I'm just going to take a little bit and you can see it is a green color correcting primer. And Oh, I feel like I might not need even that much. So I guess I'm just gonna rub that into my hands. This is a bit silky, which has me a little bit worried because I don't like a really silky silicone primer. I mean, it's not super silicone, but um, I definitely notice that it took down the redness on my cheeks. Yeah, I mean, I would say it definitely color corrected a bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more to my nose just because I feel like it didn't really stick there, which is a little bit worrisome, but we'll see. Because I don't want this primer to make all the other products that I use slip around. Okay, that worked a little bit better, didn't it? Yeah, I'd say that definitely has a good color correcting property to it. My skin doesn't feel tight or dry from that primer either. First impressions on this one are good. Have you guys tried this one out? Um, I am though, however, I was kind of going back and forth. Hopefully I made the right decision. I think I'm going to do a standalone video on the new, on the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow and then compare this to the original It Cosmetics CC Cream because I have already been trying this one out. But I think today, I literally just got this in the mail today, the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20. And I have the shade 12C. Now, this is not my shade, but that's okay. Um, we're just gonna roll with it. Just know that this is a bit too light for me. I actually have to be honest here. I uh, put this on immediately when I got it in the mail and then I took it off. I just got really freaking excited. I'm just taking some into my hands and spreading it. So I noticed that I really liked the way that this applied with fingers. I like the way that it spreads with fingers. I ended up getting the product onto the skin is really easy and then kind of going back and perfecting with a brush or a sponge. It has a really nice spreadability to it, but it still feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel really heavy. Honestly, it's pretty reminiscent of the Tower 28 Sunny Days, um, but with less coverage. So that's kind of the first product that came to mind when I used this. Um, it is, again, a little bit thinner than that product on the skin, and it gives less coverage than that product. But here it is, just blended in with fingers. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, I feel like this finish is definitely more on the natural side. I don't find it to be particularly dewy. But what I did notice is that this kind of melts back down into the skin. You know those products that kind of look, you kind of get the full finish effect of the product kind of like 15 minutes after you applied it? I feel like that is definitely the case with this product. Like right when you put it on, it's not really going to look exactly that way. So that's what I noticed immediately. Just looking up close, this looks incredibly, incredibly skin-like. And I just have a feeling now, I'm not gonna like throw it out there as truth. I guess like more like my fully formed opinion, 
but I just have a feeling that this is going to be a big hit with those of you with more combination skin, but we're just gonna have to see. Um, I, I just have a feeling that those of you that like something lightweight, not too dewy, not too matte, with a light coverage, you're probably going to be a fan of this. Yeah, honestly, I barely even need to use the uh, Rare Beauty brush to blend it in. I think my fingers did a pretty good job with that. I mean, who doesn't want something really light coverage with a good set down? Not too dewy, not too matte for the summer. I feel like, you know, this is definitely a product to be on the lookout for. My first impressions of it are really good, but I haven't worn makeup on top of it. So let's go ahead and add some concealer. This is the Kosas Revealer. You can definitely tell that this is too light when I put this on. I almost wish that I went in with my lighter concealer, but here we are. And while I'm letting my concealer set a bit, you guys know that I do do this. I am going to go ahead and go into the brows. Now I'm a little bit worried about this, and this is a newer item, not like super, super brand spanking hot off the press new, but it is the e.l.f. Brow Lift. And I've been wanting to try this. I tried it, I think, maybe once and mixed results with that. I mean, we'll have to see. I notoriously don't really jive with these kinds of products. I don't know, something about the soap brow thing um, is just, you know, sometimes it turns out pretty good, sometimes it doesn't for me. The only product that I've really found that kind of gives me that effect that I really like is, can you hear my stomach? I'm like really hungry. Is the Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel. I absolutely love this. Like love, love, love. Really, really love this. But I think that we need to try this out because it's just been sitting here. Oh, and by the way, I am going to put on a little bit of lip balm. This is the Mavala lip balm. I got it on Amazon. My friend Nellie told me to try it out because I was complaining about my lips. Started using this yesterday and so far really, really like it. But anyway, what I think I'm going to do is just try to do this how I normally would, which would be to fill in and then go ahead and use the brow lift. The reason I like to do it that way is that I really like combing through my brows a lot, especially with brow pencil, I want to be able to blend it. I find that if I add the brow gel first, then I am like combing through to kind of get it to soften and then everything starts like flaking off. All right, filled those in a little bit. Now I'm going to take a clean spoolie and really just take a little bit of this, kind of tap off the excess as well. And then we're gonna see how this looks, guys. There's one brow. See, the issue that I have with these kinds of products for my brows personally is that for some people with shorter brow hairs, I feel like this method makes their eyebrows look fuller. For me and my longer brow hairs, which I prefer my brows with longer, I just like them grown out a little bit. That's what I like. I know that not everyone likes that, but hey, it's what I like. And I find that this kind of makes them look more sparse somehow. Like, I'm kind of getting that vibe again. I mean, it could be something that I just need to play around with a little bit, but um, yeah, not bad, not my favorite. I'm just gonna leave them. I think that that's the best that they're gonna do. I don't think it looks bad, to be honest. Like, I don't, I would definitely still go out with this brow look, but it is something that I'm like cognizant of. And just going to blend this out again. You know, the shades are not really jiving super well, but hey, we're, we're making it work. But you know what? The cheat combo that I wanna go with today, that should also be interesting. <laughs> so I picked up the Dream Matte Mousse yeah, from Maybelline. When's the last time you guys saw this? Because for me personally, the last time I saw this is when I was orange all the way from up here and then just pale as can be from all the way down in like middle school. So I feel like it could potentially, potentially with a big capital P, look good as a cream bronzer. It has this kind of whipped 
consistency. Yeah, I feel like this could go really bad. So here I am. This is the shade Caramel Dark 2. And I'm just going to take a little bit, kind of pat off a bit of the excess and just press it. Oh my gosh. This is, this is warm. Oh my God, it's orange. Oh my God, it's orange. Okay. All right, well, okay, listen, it's orange, but I gotta tell you that texture wise on the skin, this looks really good. Like it looks really good with the Rare Beauty because the Rare Beauty is already so thin and this product is just jiving super well with it. I mean, they're blending really, really nicely together not picking up oddly or looking choppy. I'm just gonna take some of this on my neck a bit. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. And I'm just gonna take it a little bit right here. And I'm kind of mixing it a touch with the bronzer, just so we have a better kind of gradient going on here and then just kind of blending up. And what I am noticing is that I feel like these textures don't go well with a wet sponge. So mix that and go back in with the brush. Looking a bit blotchy, just a bit. But here's the thing, I am holding out some hope for this this combo. I am holding out a little bit of hope to maybe find a better shade of this because it does have this kind of matte, moussey quality that I really feel like has the potential to look good with a product like this with a really thin texture. If this, if this shade was just a little bit more neutral, I feel like I would be even more excited right now. Let me know if you know of a more neutral shade out of this. I feel like this is known for being a little bit orange. So I'm not, again, this could just be a pipe dream, but I don't know. See how it goes. And also I have this new cream blush from Huda Beauty. It is the shade Rebel Red and it's the cheeky tint blush stick. So I'm going to take the same brush that I've been using. This is one, this is the Seamless Foundation Buffing Brush from Beauty Pie. And I'm just going to give myself a bit of like a sunburnt kind of flush. Maybe we can make things look a little bit more seamless. We'll see. This is the second time I've used this and I'm liking this time a bit more. I think this shade is really, really pretty. But now I'm kind of like, what is going on? I promise that the texture of this product looks really good. It just is a little bit weird with like this area because this, pro this area is still dealing with a very, very light, too light for me product. And yeah, I think I'm going to do do a little bit of color correction there is just take some of the Rare Beauty, take a little bit of the matte mousse, just a touch, like barely any, really, with this same brush that I've been using and like just dab in that area a little bit. And honestly, I feel like that helped, huh? Might as well just kind of blend everything out, huh? Okay. All right. Hey. Hey, 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 not bad. Okay. Okay, Amanda. You do have a YouTube channel. Now I'm like really, really jiving with the skin. I think that was like just the right uh, mix of everything together. Now I feel like bronzy, sunburnt, like, now I'm really happy. Okay, I don't know, this is a wild ride. Random, but are you guys the kind of people, like when you ride a roller coaster, let's say that you are a roller coaster person, which I tend to like a wooden roller coaster more than a steel roller coaster. But anyway, I digress. Are you someone that likes being right in the front or in the back? Because I kind of like being in the back. 
But then sometimes I like being in the front. Like towards the end of the day when you're at an amusement park, I kind of become a thrill seeker and I'm like, okay, I'll go in the front. Like my first ride, I kind of like being in the back. Like, what do I think? I'm not gonna end up not going on the ride. There's something like comforting about seeing other people do it first. You know what I mean? Like when you're the one, last one to jump in. But anyway, I am really happy with the skin now. And that is very surprising to me. Still have a couple of other items. See, I wanted to kind of try out this item beauty. It's verified cream blush. Spoiler alert, I feel like this is not really a cream blush like at all. Like I feel like this is just a powder blush with the name cream on it. But here is the eye product. This is a new to me eye product that I wanted to try out. I have used it once before. It's the Armani Eyes to Kill Stellar Eyeshadow in the shade two. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm just going to take it with a finger and something that you can probably see hopefully, is that it is very plushy and bouncy. It's kind of like a not as stiff ColourPop cream eyeshadow, but one of the more fluffy, bouncy textures, not like the pressed glitter texture, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna take this all over the eye. It has just such a nice satin color to it, a beautiful emollience, and it's thinner than something like the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. So if you prefer something thinner, this is like a thin cream shadow texture with a gorgeous silkiness and it is very, very easy to blend. So I'm just like taking it with my finger and then I'm gonna go in with a brush right after. But yeah, you can really build up that color. Really nice reflection to that. And then I'm just gonna take a brush from Sephora, the crease brush and just blend it out. Like this is super, Super easy. It's just such a soft satin look. Just the right amount of glitter. Again, it's not like a heavy glitter. For me, it's like just enough to give it a touch more reflection. And yeah, you can like build it up if you want to. So yeah, this is very, very pretty. Really great for those of you that like more of a soft metallic, a satin kind of metallic, something that is going to look better on mature eyes. So for mascara, I don't have a new one, but maybe we just go back to an old favorite. All right, going in with the Essence Lash Princess. And I'm just gonna go for more of like a light lash look like that. Not a ton of volume. This will build and give you like pretty dramatic lashes. Like this is my favorite mascara for more of a smoky lash look, but you can also go pretty natural. So I'm just gonna go with that. Something more fluffy, maybe just a little bit more. Okay, so I have some lip products to try. I actually have three different lip products from Buxom. And I just had realized I haven't gotten into Buxom much and I wanted to give their lip products a shot. So I have two of the Full Force Plumping Lipsticks. I have the shade Goddess, which I don't know what shade's gonna go well with this look, but this was like a kind of lighter nude shade that I felt like could look good on me. A lot of these shades I find kind of wash me out. So it's kind of like a lighter peachy nude. So that is a potential, even maybe for like an ombre lip situation. Um, and then this is the shade Supermodel right next to it in the same formula. This is definitely more in line with like what I typically go for, which is more of like a rose shade. But you see how that's way warmer. Something I'm noticing is I feel like my brows keep dropping. So I feel like that's like the exact opposite of what we're going for. However, I will say that the longer I leave it on here, now I'm kind of just getting like a soft fluffy kind of effect that even though it drops a little bit, it kind of for me feels a little bit more natural. I'm like just not knowing how to feel like this entire video, but I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone and do some more off the cuff kind of videos like this. Okay, anyway, I also picked up the Vava Plump shiny liquid lipstick from Buxom. And I was super pumped about this shade. It's the shade Lights Out. Wow, like that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I, I have to use it. I feel like I have to use it. I do wanna line my lips though first because I feel like this is like a really liquidy lip product. All right, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Pie Liner in the shade Rummy Pink first. 
This is a super creamy lip liner. Now I'm going to take the Baba Plump. And again, this is like super pigmented, so I don't think I'm gonna do like the whole full on liquid lip look. By the way, these aren't like a dry down liquid lip, just like a liquefied lip. I love, 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 love the color. I feel like the color is what sold me on this one in particular, and then the formula of the full force is what sold me on these. I'm really liking it. So, hey, so if you didn't know, from the intro. I actually forgot to do an intro to this video and it's been a little bit of time. So I figured I'd also jump in on here and talk about the wear test. And then I also will apply one of the Buxom lipsticks just because I feel like it. So the Huda Beauty blush did wear off a bit, but I gotta tell you that I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Um, will 100% 100% be using this all summer like this is already Amanda like approved this is really absolutely gorgeous the eyeshadow is wearing beautifully the skin tint is wearing beautifully and surprisingly enough the matte mousse as a bronzer is wearing really beautifully as a whole I'm just very impressed and I mean, there's a little fading around the nose from blowing my nose. The lip is off, but like as a whole, everything still looks really skin-like and pretty. I'm absolutely loving it. The only thing that I'm like, you know, the e.l.f. brow tint, it, again, like I already said, the brows are just dropping. However, let's try like an ombre lip with these buxom lipsticks. So I'm first going to use Supermodel. It's more of a move shade. The formula is really, really pretty. It's got like this buttery texture thing going on. And also you give it a few seconds and it starts to plump a bit. I, I really like the color. Um, I'm excited to try Goddess in the middle. What do you guys think? Do you think that makes for a more wearable kind of pale nude for me? I don't know. I feel like I still would have to get used to it. In general, I just find that pale nudes, I, I still kind of feel like it washes me out when I put that on. Anyway, I guess let's get back to the other me. This is the completed look. I think I'm gonna stick with the ponytail and just keep it simple. I really like it. Super, super blown away by the fact that the skin turned out okay because it was looking a bit blotchy. I think it just goes to show you that once you have um, figured out what textures work really well together, whether it's intentional or not, I feel like you're just setting yourself up for success. So the Rare Beauty Positive Light, I'm really, really excited about this skin tint. I think that for those of you that really love a liquidy, thin, easy to work with, no makeup makeup kind of skin tint product, you're going to really like it. I really enjoy that this is kind of just a very neutral finish product to add other makeup on top. You know, you don't really want a super, super dewy skin tint and then a super, super dewy blush on top and then a super, super dewy highlight on top of that. Like sometimes that looks good, but sometimes during the summer, you want to kind of move into that look, kind of let the makeup warm up and start to give you that look naturally. I feel like it's all about balance, you know what I mean? And a good powder can also help with that as well. But I'm really, really excited and liking this. I just need a better shade match. As far as the brow lift, it's like not really lifting my brows. Probably won't be using it again, but I will say that I am pleasantly surprised. It's not flaking or looking really crumbly in the eyebrows, so that's good. Oh, I also forgot to mention the 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This really did well with all the other products, so that is really a good sign. And I feel like if you have a lot of redness, you'll probably find that this does a good job of correcting it. The Dream Matte Mousse, you know, drop me a comment. I feel like if I can find a better shade, then we might have something interesting on our hands. The Dewy Blush from Huda Beauty, I'm really, really excited about this shade. What shade is this again? Rebel Red, beautiful perfect like sunburnt red kind of shade. I love it. It's really, really pretty. The Armani Eyes to Kill Stellar Shadow, shade number two. This is beautiful. It's just such an elegant cream eyeshadow. There's really a lot to love about it. I love how thin and silky it is. It's not like 
overly creamy, but it's not too powdery. It's not super metallic, but it's not too flat. It's such an elegant texture and the look of it is just really, really flattering. So I'm very excited about it. But yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. If you have any other questions about these products, I'm sure I'll give you updates in upcoming videos, but if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next one.